Hey, what's going on YouTube? We're going to do a quick overview of the photogrammetry software that's going to be available this year, 2016. Some easy ways to get into 3D scanning and some expensive ways. Let's, uh, I'll start with some of the free versions right now, which is Visual SFM, which is free open source created by Chang Chang Wu. I do believe it is non-commercial though, except for you know school use and stuff like that but I don't think you can use it commercially honestly it's been out for quite a while and there's some good tools built into it and I even think there's um like add-on software like bundler or SFM that's built around it there's lots of tutorials on visual SFM it's I, in my opinion, it gives really rough looking things and I, I I don't think that I can use it to um to get my 3D scanning of objects and stuff, but maybe if I work really worked with it harder and longer and become proficient with it, I could, but I'm not convinced of it. Then you have another open source one here called Open MVS, which is multi-view stereo reconstruction which is if you're using multiple cameras in an apparatus for scanning. It has some nice, um, actually I haven't, I haven't used it yet, but, uh, it has, um, see it's being updated four days ago, 16 days ago. The master branch was updated 17 days ago. People are still actively working on um, OpenMVS, so it's going to be one to look at this year and see if it really comes out and um, is a viable option for us. See, next I would look at Bundler SFM. This one was nifty looking. If you see this image, what they're doing with it, it looks like they crowdsourced all the photos that are tagged with the Coliseum, and it... It stitches them together in the um, the arrow triangulation of the photos really well. I mean that's that's some interesting software. That's like what Tony Stark does in the Iron Man movie when his guy when his buddy gets blown up. He pulls all the photos from all the news channels that are covering it, and he reconstructs the scene based off the news coverage. I think that's what Bundler SFM is mate trying to do. Which is great. I mean, you could crowdsource images from like the the pyramids of Giza or Times Square. I'm gonna I'm gonna look into this one some more because that's quite interesting what they're doing. Let's see. Next, we look at some of the free versions that are not open source. We're gonna look at Memento. I did a 3D scanning review of Memento a while back. Let me open that up. Done. It's the bottom. To which I'm actually here's the Memento one. I have to be able to get the bottom. Yeah, that's all. That's how Memento is. Um, you got the photo scan on the left and Memento on the right, and you can see that. Eh, give me. You see that the Adisoft photo scan managed to grab the bottom of the foot, and the Memento one would not grab the bottom of the foot, but you know, Memento has some unique advantages going for it because it is everything's processed in the cloud. You can you can scan with your iPhone and your Droids and your Samsungs and just send the photos out to Memento's server and they will make it for you. And you just do a couple tweaks in their app and then they shoot you back the uh, the model. I'm not exactly sure on if um. But here you see the process where you just upload the photos through the app. It'll take your bandwidth now, so it's best to do it on Wi-Fi. But, you know, all these other ones I'm about to show you, they require a nice computer. And this only requires your smartphone and an internet connection. And the same with that is for um, 123D Catch from... 123D Catch from, a, uh, from Autodesk.
I wasn't overly happy with the results from 123D Catch, but um, the fact that it's processed in the cloud and you can scan with your phone makes it an, still a viable choice. But I don't know just how much use you're going to get out of the models. I mean, you see all of these all these things behind this guy. If you look at his pictures, he took the lighting was pretty bad. You see, it's got this shadow that's cast around it. That shadow is gonna all it's gonna show up in the textures and stuff, and that's not the best. You want to avoid shadows as much as possible. But it is free, Autodesk 123D Catch. But it's non-commercial. Uh, you cannot use any of the models you get in, in for commercial purposes. You can only use them for just to show people or editorializing on it but you can't sell them but it's still a viable option to um, get into it I'd say Memento and um, 1 to 3 D, D, D catch and the open source models I just listed they're all good just to look into it stick your nose around and see if 3d scanning's for you now we'll start looking at some of the paid ones like and I'll start with Adisoft photo scan which is about the 300 pound gorilla in the room Here's where you add the photos, and it made the error triangulation really fast. It stitched the bottom and the top together, which I liked. I've got to be able to do that. I was only worked with it for, I don't know, a couple weeks there. I'm still using, I prefer a Q3D. That's, that's my go-to one, but... I'll, I'll probably buy the Adisoft regular license this year. I believe the process I had to do, I had to combine one chunk together. The, they, they align the photos in what they call chunks in PhotoScan. And if you get a bottom and a top chunk, you've got to then tell it to put the chunks together. And it, it, does, it did it pretty automatically. I remember it took like, I think it might have taken two hours on my machine. And my machine is a uh, i7 4790K with a... GTX 780 Ti, and it took it probably took two hours after I got the photos to get that model out of Agisoft. The model of Agisoft there is on the left, and it's it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You can use it. I like the texture of it, the dimensions. It's great. The price of Agisoft PhotoScan is 179 for the base version, where you can scan you know small objects and houses, but at 179 you get none of the um, at 179. You don't get any of the drone support, right? So if if, if you're looking to map large areas, you've got to buy the $3,500 version. But it's a standalone license. You don't have to, you know, it's not a recurring license, which is great. You buy it once and just keep it. Adisoft has probably the largest community. So if you're serious about it, Adisoft is definitely one to look at. Let's see, next I'll look at um, Reality Capture. My free trial of Reality Capture is over, but um, Reality Capture was without a doubt the fastest one I experienced on the computer. The aero triangulation took seconds to put all the cameras in the circle around it. It, it took seconds. Actually did a little... Working with the reality capture processes to add images from the folder. This is the review I did at reality capture a while back. Like these. These are all coming out of the light studio. The line. Hey, it was I found someone. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like the texture too much when I did it last month. But uh, someone commented la last week on a YouTube comment that they've already upgraded the textures on it. It took me 14 minutes with Reality Capture from start to finish to get a model on my computer, which is um, 
10 times faster than Agisoft in a Qt 3D. It is extremely fast, and it's good for small object photogrammetry, and it's good for drone and um, mapping photogrammetry. It comes in three versions, I believe. $99 for three months, and that is max 2500 images per project which is fine you know all the small stuff that's all you need but then it jumps up to seventy five hundred dollars a year and it's made for it's made for scanning entire cities i think they used reality capture to scan stockholm a few years ago or something like that for their public works division and um seventy five hundred dollars for a 12 month version and fifteen thousand dollars or euros rather fifteen thousand euros for i imagine that's probably a standalone license forever so you buy it once and just keep it i would hope so at fifteen thousand dollars euros but don't hold me to that i uh, reality capture strong it's there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever and just the speed of it is something else entirely uh, since we already got Smart 3D Capture up here, we're gonna I'll look at Acute 3D next, and um, Acute 3D is probably one of the biggest players in the space. It's Acute 3D software that powers 123D Catch, and I'm pretty sure it powers Memento as well. They Autodesk has licensed the software from Acute 3D, which and Acute 3D was bought by Bentley, I don't know, just about a year ago. It was bought by Bentley mainly for the um, the mapping photogrammetry aspects of it for mines and farms and city work. Because you can use, um, it'll stitch all these photos together with the drone just in the map configuration, no problem. thing about uh, Q3D, it, it's not, definitely isn't as fast as reality capture. It normally takes me two hours to let the model run but he can see what it comes out with it it works really well and it's pretty simple interface and it's nice I have no problems with it like I said they're one of the leaders I believe they pulled this version smart 3d capture master from the market and I paid like 200 bucks for this one but that one's no longer available they have context capture master now available and I believe it costs only you know, five thousand dollars. But it's probably worth it because they are they're one of the leaders in the space without a doubt. Yeah, and they still use the same sort of setup that I have in you know smart smart three D capture master. Which is good. That means I can transfer from what I'm going doing now to this software, and it'd still be the same process, and it'd be really familiar to me. But it's nice. You should uh, definitely look at the Acute 3D if you've got a large budget to scan with. Let's see. There's a couple other ones I want to look at. Um, Adisoft Acute Reality Capture 3DF Zephyr. They have three versions available, and they're on a monthly, I believe 3DF Zephyr is on a monthly, uh, a monthly payment plan. And they have three versions, the Light, the Pro, and the Aerial. Light's good for small objects, Pro is good for a little bit larger objects, and body scanning. Which is I'm getting I'm interested in getting into body scanning. The price is oh it's not on a month it's on a it's a perpetual license it looks like. 3DF Zephyr is at 199 and that's for small objects. Max 200 photos and max 200 frames on a video. Oh and it only supports one GPU. And it only exports mesh, not cameras and point clouds. But that's only the cheapest version. The uh, $3,200 version has external UV mapping, 
some good ortho photo and ortho mosaic features in it. Multi GPU, and it's got a limited picture import, so it removes all the limitations on like the amount of photos you can put in. Oh, and the thirty-eight hundred dollar one actually grabs the XIF GPS coordinates from the from the metadata of the pictures, which could come in really handy. That way, you could you could take that metadata and it'll actually put the map on the proper GPS coordinates. And you can just view it in Google Earth. It looks like it's they got some interesting photo or some interesting stuff going on here. But that's the price, thirty-eight hundred bucks. Not bad. Let's see the other one. Let's look at Pix4D. Pix4D is exclusively a drone, a drone photogrammetry software. It's only made for mapping mapping stuff they have this proprietary camera they made which fits on the parrot and it's about the same size as a gopro but it's got it's got stereo it's got these stereo lenses built down to the you know the gopro form factor so they're they're only after you know they are only after what you call it you know drone photogrammetry you can't i don't think you can scan objects with this software and it is on a four hundred dollar a month price very interesting enterprise software it's good i think that's about all i wanted to go over today was those those few there like I said, Memento and 123D Catch, they're good to check around and see if you're interested. In, if, if you've never done 3D scanning before, I'd say give them a shot, pull out your phone, take some pictures of the object and send them through the service, get the app, and try to scan with it. Visual SFM requires your computer, so I don't think your phone will be able to scan it at all. And that's the same with Bundler and these other open source ones. But they are open source. There's that. Then you get into the paid ones. Adjusoft PhotoScan is great for, you know, at that the first price point is great for object photogrammetry, and it has the largest community. Let's see, Reality Capture at $99 every three months. That's that's pretty fair. I mean, Reality Capture was smoking fast, faster than all the other ones. 3DF Zephyr, they got the affordable one at $199, and it goes up to $2,500 a month or $2,500 license. And Pix4D is $400 a month, but it's only for drones, not for object photogrammetry. So that's basically what you have. You got like a $100, $200 price point to get into the object photogrammetry, and then anywhere from a $2,500 to $15,000 price point for, for mapping areas for enterprise uses like mines and farms and city planning. So if you want to do that, it's quite a bit more, but... You shouldn't let those numbers scare you from getting into just regular object photogrammetry. Because those numbers are not for you. Those numbers are for enterprises. Anyway, look forward to 3D scanning 2016, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.